what's up and welcome to this channel. In today's video guys I'm going to show you a quick and easy method how you set up multiplayer for Super Smash Bros. the Wii U Simio emulator. First controller guys that you're going to set up going to be the Xbox One controller. The second controller that you're going to connect is the PS4 controller guys and the last one is the Switch Pro controller. As I said guys I'm going to get straight to my desktop and show you how to get the job done. See you there. All right as we have my desktop right now guys first thing we're going to do we need to hover right here and go to Bluetooth, go to more, more Bluetooth settings, and from here, add device and Bluetooth and all that. Now, every controller has a different way to connect. For the Xbox One controller, guys, I literally just press this button here, it's going to glow, and it's going to show pair device. Your device would like to pair this Windows device, so you want to allow just click yes and close. And the Xbox One controller is paired. Uh, you're gonna see that by even the light being stable. When it goes to the PS4, the same thing guys, we pressing add device, again the same thing. Now with the PS4 controller guys, we need to press the PlayStation button here and the share button at the same time. Just like this, and it's gonna flicker again. Then it's gonna show up uh, on your device here, wireless in, uh, controller, click on it and it's going to be connected. It's not going to show, uh, say a PS4, but it's going to say wireless controller. That one, guys, is the Switch Pro controller. The thing is, again, here, add device, go to Bluetooth. But here, guys, you just need to click this little button here. So press on it just for a little bit, release, and it's going to show off as well Pro controller. Click on it, wait a little bit, and it's going to actually show connected and it shows like this pro controller so this out the way guys we close in here and we go straight to semu from here guys we go to options we go to inputs we go to controller one we go for wii u gamepad here controller you're going to use uh, the sdl controller and the tr trigger controller wait a second and then it's going to show xbox one as controller click on it and add it's going to automatically map your buttons in your controller the second thing you're going to do is go into settings guys and here where you can adjust the rumble and xbox one control doesn't have uh, doesn't have a motion control and as you might see guys it works second control just go to second controller press on and here we're going to do pro controller again api use your sdl you wait a little bit and it's going to show ps4 controller click on it and it's going to map automatically as well go again to settings and here we can have motion control as well and vibration i hope you can hear it and we're done with the PS4 control. Switch Pro control, guys. Same thing. Now we're going to controller three. We're going to go again. Pro controller. API. SDL controller here. Wait a little bit. And it's going to switch it to Switch Pro controller and add. Now here, guys, with the Switch Pro controller, it does map correctly, but it is, it's okay. I'm going to guide you to how to map it correctly. Now for A, press A. For B, literally, press B and for X uh, press X and for Y guys press Y literally for LL for RR ZL uh, ZR the plus button for the start the minus button for the select then here is where it says click the left one here guys the left one here you click in up down um, left right and the same thing for this one here Let's click in, up, down, uh, yeah, left, right. And the last one is the D-pad, up, down, yes, <laughs> left and right. And with this, you corrected the inputs. Then with this all of the way, guys, you're going back to controller one. We're going to name the first controller as the Xbox. So you don't get confused. You just name it Xbox, Xbox, and you save it. You go into the second one. This is the PS4 controller and we name it just PS4 and you save it as well. And for the last one and not least, just switch, switch pro and save it. In case something happens, you just can, you can just upload them and you're done. With this out of the way, guys, we are all done. Start the game. I'm going to minimize it a little bit. As you can see, Xbox, PS4 and switch pro controller. It's going to smooth. I'm just going to skip here ahead. As you might see, I'm not taking it. I'm pressing, see, right, going to smash, 
All right, Xbox One controller, press any button. PS4 controller, press any button. And one not least, guys, the Switch, press any button. And here you go, guys. I just want to have only three controllers. If I had the fourth controller, I would even do that. With this all said, guys, uh, I hope you liked the video. If yes, please uh, like it if you like it. Dislike if you didn't. Uh, subscribe to my channel, guys. With me, I appreciate a lot. And turn on the notification button. And if you like this kind of video, guys, there's another video right there to watch. You might be interested in. Yes, none for God fear. Peace.